strange dear was true dear when I'm close to you dear stars the sky so in love with you am I so hard and I had to find her gloves too she didn't want to change them out and I was like changing it out and it was good so the eagle I went ahead and put it in a just a larger one it really didn't need to be in one of those big square holders but the Liberty Britannia I am and until I get another one because there's only one I didn't even pull it out but I am because it's in here because now I'm up to more than one but I keep it in I need another one. I want to know. I don't know, y'all. If the other ones come out, I need to know this. If so, hey, man, you'll make me buy one. Whoever you silver sellers out out there, whoever wants to sell silver for some company. The Britannia. See how it's facing where it's written right here? So if I turn it this way, with the Liberty on top, it's upside down the writing. If the ones printed in America, which ones? Will it be printed right here? Like right here? This has got Charles on it. You see what I mean? But this is his first year. We'll see how long he uh, it takes him to implement whatever he's going to do, you know? But I wonder if the, you know, this kind of triggers me, guys. I don't know. I like it, but it's just a conjunction of Liberty and Britannia together. I wrapped it up and I went. But I took the regular 24s. I put in another one because I'm going to accumulate those. But I went ahead and put the little one. That's what I was doing. So you got Newflin right here at the end. In the tip of mirror. So that will fit in small. It won't take up as much room. Just little bitty examples. And while I was at it, I went ahead because I needed something. But I need some double wide. What do you call the two ounce, the big fat ones? Just some, because I need a few for those anyway. And I actually need some for like a five ounce Anyway, I need some, it's funny, the plastics just cost more to buy plastics. But this will put up, and this was uh, just, a, just a little half, commemorative. You've seen them. It's not the, um, it's not the Gettysburg, but, uh, It's uh, some dudes on horses. Half dollar. 
Well, that's the thing with, with pendants. I'm going to leave them because I like it. It's really nice. Because I like the feathers and all. But just to put it up. Never going to focus. It's okay. But we'll stick that up. Yeah, uh, we'll put that up right there. And we got Newfoundland. And then as far as Mexico or pesos, pesos, and that country was uh, spread, man, a lot of places, man. And in '78, it was spread a lot of places, but you know that wasn't as old as some. But well, that's just a uh, what's that number you yeah, guys? Hundred, yeah. So I got a hundred little pesos. Uh, with a see, I like the one with cactuses on the back. I want a godly plant, you know. But next best, no joke, man. The eagles, pretty cool. No joke. Uh. That was America, North America, Mexico, all the way down here. British Virgin Islands goes way down here. And this uh, peso spreads all over Mexico right here. A lot. And then... Uh, Well, I guess that was all the countries that was in this box as far as rounds. And, um, but I can tell by the map we're going to have to do something. I got to bring in, I got to change out the other box. And we got Mexico. We got America over here. Taking up much more room. We're just going to move America over here. Move this over here. Oh man. Yeah, okay. British Virgin Islands, Bermuda. Queen. Hey, but the Queen. Actually, all right, we need a basic. We need the basic maple that says Canada because over here in North America, yeah, which would be in this North America, there's Newfoundland at the edge. Up above America, you got Mexico, Balboa, and down in the South America. You got North America is Canada, this page is a little bit clogged though on this side. So, so North America on this side. This is Canada right there. Right. And this map I like to look at. But over here we need, oh, I can already tell. We need a Apollo, or no, Tukalo, or Tukalo, what do you call it? Uh, let me find it. Not New Zealand, because I don't have New Zealand. I need a New Zealand. Tokolo right there, though, yeah. So we need some Tokolo over here to fill up that hole. I got I got to put one right there, yeah. And Australia. Like, what is Australia? A kangaroo? Oh, we need a kangaroo. Yeah. Because Krugeran isn't kangaroo. I need a kangaroo right there. I need a... Uh, what is this country right there? It says Antarctica, right? 
Yeah. Really good right here. Yeah. It's a polar projection map of the world. And it's called the azimuth or equidistant projection. This is uh, oh, 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 Antarctica degrees. Anyway. But this page pretty much filled. And, uh, Africa, Egypt, down here, South Africa. This page, I don't, I cannot fill it. It's already at the edge, that's fine. It's an old cotton bound book, which I like about that. Or rope, yeah. Because we got, we got South Africa down in here, and this page is pretty full. But over here, it seems like, Oh, how does this keep going? Let's go ahead and read it while we're at it. Plus po posterity's sake, right? This map has been prepared with the North Pole as the mathematical center. From it, distances to any part of the world may be measured. On Mercator's map of the world, the polar regions are so scattered that their relatively small area and availability for flight routes are disregarded. Today, with airplane following great circle courses, often with the Arctic Circle, Polar projection maps are indispensable to the people of this air minded age. But this, but this particular book continues as an article creeks to the corner of it. was funny. But over here, oh, well, the Tuggalo Islands in America. I moved it, it was taking up too much room. Because the Spanish was right there. It's a lot on that page. Since this dollar was all over Spain, really, it left out this portion. As we were talking about the Megong River and Yangtze River and Yangtze River and all of Russia over here. And China below it. So we need some rubles. What do you call them? Rubles, rub rubles, 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 and uh, and uh, some uh, and some Iceland over on the other side. But but that's already piled up over there. But Netherlands. Uh, the Venezuelan and Guatemala and all that that's some cool stuff early stuff but basically when you get your trade dollars and stuff and uh, the pastures and, and other then that's taking care of a lot of the early trade unless you want to be a collector I'm not a collector I just like to fill the map up so just a couple rule, couple Russian coins and uh is what I need, and I, but I do, but I I do have some China. I need to bring out the China. And fill out the map. That's cool. And I like the map. So this will be put up, and I'm gonna spend some time doing that. 
And then so we got most of this map, most of the countries uh, to fill the biggest part. And then we can zoom in and do smaller ones because there's a lot of smaller ones. But, but that's a little, it kind of neat to look at it on this way. You can kind of tell how close things are. Um, from this perspective, I like, uh, you know, just basic. Uh, this is called a planisphere, basically. It's just ancient or whatever. But, um, and, uh, anyway. I went somewhere and was looking for a bigger atlas. This is this is mine. Uh, I went a little bit larger one. This is great because honestly, let's see if I could put a book. Up. I don't know if I could put a book. I could put a regular book or whatever. This is a fairly large book. Uh, and it's hardback and all, you know. But what I would like. The front and the back, I could cut, I could show you either one, but we'll just go ahead and go to the back right fast. No. Here we go. If you want to read, yeah. That's interesting. It's very. So, but uh, as far as content, And, uh, and just, you know, it's just an atlas. And some writings. And a time published. Or at least they made things last. Uh, but regarding this map, uh, like I said, this is also just as big, it's even smaller, but it's got a little bit different. Um, details, different words. So we we'll just do this. Jean Dominique Descent's world map of 1696, terrestrial planisphere. In 1679, Jean Dominique Cassini, the Italian astronomer and cartographer who had become an important member of the French Royal Academy of Science, conceived the idea of a large scale map on which might be recorded revised geological data, which was received by Paris Observatory. T to this end, he chose a circle of the third floor of the West Tower of the Observatory, here under direct supervision. supervision. Today, Sanchez drew the planisphere. For the first time, employing the basic projection used for present-day global air age maps. This map was first reproduced in 1696. As new geography arrived, data arrived from correspondence all over the earth and from special expeditions sent out for the purpose cities, harbors, and observatories were located on this map. Longitudes were now determined for the first time by simultaneous observations of both Paris and distant places, of the eclipses of the satellites of Jupiter. 
1696 planisphere is shown born on the shoulders of Atlas, as it was reproduced by L. Renard for his Atlas de la Navigation, published in Amsterdam, 1715. Radio lines drawn from the center will pass through all places on the same degree of longitude, and distances between degrees of latitude are constant. There is necessarily greater distortion. Whoa. All right, so we read all this, and you see this? So we got to all this? Now, for the finale. Radial lines drawn from the center will pass through all places on the same degree of longitude, and the distances between degrees of latitude are constant. There is necessarily, there is necessarily, there is necessarily, there is necessarily, there is necessarily greater distortion in the area south of the equator, since the meridians of longitude which would normally emerge at the South Pole are shown as radiating further and further apart. Yet they're used. And it's cool. But just this map in general, you can see where a lot of stuff is going through. That's what I like. It's cool. So I got little 25s or whatever. And I got some larger 30s. I could put halves or put quarters. Or, or I could think of put dollars. And they got bigger ones. They could put up to the like, bigger stuff. But I need some deeper ones. It's funny. I just keep needing more and more and more. Right. But um, it's okay because we'll figure it out.